So Ibn Qayyim concludes, subhanAllah, in regards to uh, the expiations of, 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 of sins uh, by good deeds and then talking about how this is all built off of a foundational principle in regards to those that, you know, uh, those that uh, enter into Islam and then they leave Islam and then they come back into Islam. Do their previous actions from when they were Muslim are renewed? Like the reward for those actions are renewed after they come back to Islam? He says it goes back to that. And some scholars say, well, uh, you know, the fact that some of them say, no, the fact that he left Islam immediately by default, all those actions are null and void. Some say, no, we look at it until he dies. When he dies, what did he die upon? So if they embrace Islam after leaving Islam, those actions come back. And those that say upon immediate leaving Islam, those actions do not come back, even if they were to become a Muslim. He goes on to say, um, he said, I still don't feel easy about this issue. And myself is something that is uh, discontent with this whole issue. And I'm still looking for the correct answer in it. Uh, I'm still diligently looking for this and trying to figure it out. And I haven't seen anyone that really has done a proper explanation of this. Uh, and it becomes apparent to me Wallahu ta'ala a'lam wa ahkam wa bihi musta'an wa la quwata illa bihi He said and, and he praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah knows best and there's only help except him from him and there's no strength and power and might in, in, except him Anna al-hasanata wa sayyi Anna al-hasanati wa sayyiati tatadafa'a wa tataqabil He said that hasanat wa sayyiat they're in in um, how would you say they're in constant battle with each other. They're they're like in 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 faction with each other. And the ruling will be for that which is more uh has more authority or is has a majority of effect, being which one is more basically. Whether in, in number or whether in intensity of it. Right? al-maghlub, and it has more power over that which is um lesser. And the ruling will be for it. Until the degree that the one that was lesser wasn't even there. Okay? So he said if the individual has a lot of good deeds, then the good deeds will more than evil deeds, and the good deeds will um, raise the evil deeds. So this is the fiqh here right here. This is actually it. He says, and when the individual, on top of the hasanat, they do good deeds. And when the individual seeks forgiveness or repents from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the response and result of that repentance is a lot of good deeds as well. And it will increase and magnify the good deed that raised that evil deed. So Toba is a good deed. And then the Toba itself from the evil deed will magnify that good deed. The, uh, the good deed that was done, right, uh, will magnify that evil deed. So someone becomes, becomes Muslim, leaves Islam, then becomes Muslim again. Right, becoming Muslim, as someone mentioned, is Toba itself. So that coming to Islam relinquishes that fact of leaving Islam, and it magnifies that good deed as though leaving Islam didn't even happen with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, because that sincerity is intense. فَإِذَا عَزَمَتَ التَّوْبَ صَحَّتْ وَنَشَأَتْ مِنْ صَمِيمِ الْقَلْبِ وَصَحَّتْ وَنَشَأَتْ So, and then he just reminds you the condition. So if the person was diligent with their sincerity in seeking forgiveness and the way that they did it was correct and it came from the depths of their heart basically it was sincere it was the motivation the toba was sincere from their heart it he literally uses the verb burns it relinquishes extinguishes moves away with intensity that which happened to him from the evil deeds or from the evil deeds that took place to the degree as though it wasn't even there 
And then he ends it with the beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu For verily the one that seeks forgiveness is as though there is no sin for them. The one that seeks forgiveness from an act is though as there is no sin for them. And that's beautiful from the fiqh of Ibn Qayyim, ta'ala. And that's fiqh of the religion. So basically he's saying is that the hasanat and the sayyat are there. So looking at the percentage of the hasanat versus the sayyat, the good deeds versus the evil deeds. The good deeds itself serving as a, 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 a relinquisher of the evil deeds, but not just the deed itself. As what we learned from our sheikh earlier, the sincerity and intention of the sincerity in the action versus the intensity of non-sincerity in the action or bad sincerity in the action. You are sincerely wanting to be seen by others than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the intensity of that. And did it happen throughout the whole action? See, there's so much involved here that it requires fiqh of the religion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with fiqh of the religion. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ibn Qayyim goes on to say here, وَقَدْ سَأَلَ حَكِيمٌ وَمِحِزَامٌ النَّبِيَّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمُ عن عتاقه عتاقة وعتاقة وصلة وبر فعله في الشرك هل يثاب عليه؟ حكيم بن حزام uh, mentioned uh, about he asked the Prophet ﷺ about an action that he did in the days of polytheism. Hakim bin Hizam was the uh, the nephew of Khadija bin Khawilid. Right, and he lived around 120 years, mashallah, tabarakallah. He asked about the actions that he did from freeing slaves and from uh, bringing the relatives together, which was huge, and the righteous deeds he did in, in the days of polytheism. Is he rewarded for it? The Prophet sallallahu said, Aslamta ala ma aslafta min khair. He says that you have been accepted with all the previous virtues from before. So if someone had really good deeds from before and then they become a Muslim, the actions that they did before becoming a Muslim, inshallah, will apply to them. Yani the reward. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. In this particular aspect of life and chapter of worship of Allah and understanding the deen, this is where rajat comes in. Hoping from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the best. We don't ultimately know. I can't say, you know, I've been a Muslim for 20 something years, you know, I'm 47, 30 years ago, that good deed that I did, because I became Muslim, Allah is going to accept it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Allah knows best because there are so many nuances that take place in this. And this is a manifestation of Allah being an alim, knowing my intention for every single action that I do. And within the action, that one action, motivation behind doing it, within it, which time frame I was sincere, which time frame I was not, all of that is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His knowledge, his hearing, his seeing, his wisdom. And that is the wisdom, that the, the importance of understanding the manifestation of the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Ibn Qayyim goes on to say, khitam, and at the very end, فَهَذَا يَقْتَضِي أَنَّ الْإِسْلَامَ أَعَادَ عَلَيْهِ ثَوَابَ تِلْكَ الْحَسَنَاتِ الَّتِي كَانَتْ بَاطِلَةً بِالشِّرْكِ He says, and so this request or result in that Islam will renew, not even renew, will uh, ret will cause to return, will bring back the rewards of those good deeds that they did that were null and void with shirk. And this is so important. This shows that the anchor of your actions is Tawheed, your creed, which shows the importance of the motivation behind actions in Islam, in life. That the motivation should be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the motivation is not Allah, it doesn't matter what it is, it's baltid. It is baltid. فَلَمَّا تَابَ مِنَ الشُّرْكِ أَعَادَ عَلَيْ ثَوَابُ حَسَنَاتِهِ الْمُتَقَدِّمِ So when the person seeks forgiveness from polytheism, from shirk, all of the good deeds that they did before will return to them. And this is Ibn Qayyim's opinion with the hadith that is clear, by the way, that is narrated in Al-Bukhari and Muslim hadith. Bukhari 1436 and Muslim 123. He says, 
أحرقت ما كان قبلها من السيئات وعادت عليه ثواب حسن. And he goes and says what he says again earlier. He says that the person was to uh, seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a sincere, truthful forgiveness, uh, then the previous deeds are erased and burned away uh, and from the evil deeds, and the good deeds will return back to him. It's interesting how he says, أَعَادَتْ عَلَيْهِ ثَوَابُ عَمَلِهِ Well, this is if someone was to repent from an action, they were Muslim. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our sins, and may he allow any forgiveness, act of forgiveness, to serve as an expiation for any previous sin and to magnify it to where it is as though we have not committed the sin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.